an anonymous attendee asks, do you have any tips for young poets out there? I know, it's, it's a sweet question. It's a great question because it's so hard to be a young poet out there. Yes. It really is. I mean, it's probably harder now than it's ever been, you know, you're, when you're young, you're supposed to be a, with people even more right and 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 I think that's so much of being a young poet is just showing up awkwardly and kind of saying the worst thing that that you could have possibly said to all the poets that you admire right that's and that's still my practice but um <laughs> uh but yeah I mean I think I think right now I think as a young poet right now you should read a lot of poems and uh, you should be really indulgent in what you write about and literally just write anything that's interesting to you. Um, don't try to write like something, you know, correct or serious. Try to try to follow whatever fucked up impulses uh, you have. And, and that's, that's really good advice, honestly. I can't, I can't say anything better than that. I'll leave it there. Write a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would simply say, be open to life, you know. Try and muster the courage to be open to life and be open to influences, you know. Don't be afraid of influences. This stuff about the anxiety of influence, you know, that Harold Bloom mentioned about, just throw it out of the window. Don't be anxious about influences. If you wanna be original, swallow your own head. That's the line by a Nigerian poet called Shinwizi. You know, you want to be original, swallow your own head. You know, at times this drive to be original actually ends up killing the artist, killing the poet. Yeah. Because you are afraid. Oh, they will say I sound like the other person. I said I sound like the other person. What's wrong with sounding like the other person? You know. So it's very, very important as somebody who's writing and somebody who, because I regard a poet as somebody who is also what? A living being in the sense of what? Being open to existence, being open to pain and being open to joy. You can't just not have, can't have one without the other because the fear is always, oh, I don't want to be hurt. Oh, I want to have this good reputation and all that. If you keep thinking about those such things, you will simply kill the work that wants to come out. The work is adventurous. I would say, try and be adventurous. You know, bungle it, make mistakes. You know, don't keep trying to write a classic. You know, or that this is what is going on. I would say, don't follow any trends. Unless you really want to. Yes. Yeah. You see? Except exactly. Except if you want to. Yes. You know, have the, that that openness. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, but still, don't feel you are being pulled towards one direction, either because of you know, what your creative writing teacher said, or what your informal mentor said, or whatever it is. It's like, discover some things yourself, that's it. You know, and you can't do that if you're not open to existence. So that's the word that we say, it's always be open to existence and the poems will come. <laughs>